Good morning to everybody. I'm so glad I can partake in this in this series and this uh, book of Rick Warren, a Purpose Driven Life. And uh, this little chapter that we're going to study is we are made to last forever. And I want to start off by saying this, that life is not all there is now. This is only a dress rehearsal for the next life that we're going into. We are going to spend more life in eternity than we're spending on earth. On earth we only spend a few decades, but what God has ordained for us, but one day we all will die. But eternity is planted in our hearts. One day we will all die, but it will not be the end of our lives. You see, our values must change when we live in the light of eternity. Your priorities change. Some things are worthless because what Christ has done on the cross for us. People say, live it up, enjoy your life, because one day you are going to die. But death is not the end of you. It's not you. It's only your transition into eternity with eternal consequences. For everything that you and I has done on earth, and we are destined to go either to heaven or to hell, there is a place where we will spend eternity. Eternity with God, what He prepared for us. No eye has seen, no ear has heard. And you must, you must just, you must, a lot of people just think about life now, but they never have their thoughts on eternal life, on eternity. And people live their lives according to their lifestyles and what they want to do on earth. But they never think of eternity and eternity is so important and we are made to last forever. This body, the Bible calls a tent, but it's actually, if we die, we're going to our home in heaven. And we must think about this, that we are made to last forever. This is only a small time that we spend here on earth. And Paul says he's got the desire to, to, to just pack up and go home, but it's for, for the sake of the people that he stays here because they are ignorant about eternal life. And eternity is where we're going to spend with God. The time that we spend here on earth, we have consequence that, that has consequences. And we, we, will, we, will, we must give, we'll stand before God and we'll have to give count for what we've done here on earth and the life that we've lived. The life in Christ is a life of faith and we believe that, that He rose from the day, death, He rose from death and He seated at the right hand of the Father. Eternity with God is something that God is preparing for His children. And no eye has seen and no ear has heard for those who love the Lord. We will enjoy eternity with the one who made it possible through the cross and the price He paid, the reward of our faith in Him. That's the reward. But we must spend more time thinking about eternity than the present. The present is only a phase that we're going through. This is a a, a pilgrimage and a walk with Christ on earth in faith and in obedience so that we can obtain eternity one day because we are in Christ. Not all good pe people are going to heaven, but those that sacrifice their lives to Christ Jesus, take up the cross and follow Him. And God has a purpose for our lives on earth and, in, and it involves more than just a few decades that we live. God has a purpose. It's a purpose-driven life. And our purpose must be to be obedient to His Word. We spend here on earth, the time that we spend here, we ought to think more about eternity, not less. Your relationship with Jesus Christ should give you the confidence that you will spend eternity with Him and the law and, and the loved ones in heaven. You don't have no fear. Death is the doorway to eternity. 
Tell their fear for death. It will be your birthday into eternal life. This little book says, The world is not our home. We're just passing through. We are just pilgrims. But our minds must be on eternity. To think one day we'll spend eternity with Christ Jesus, God the Father, the Holy Spirit, and all our loved ones. Mending broken relationships with God. Hallelujah. That is our purpose in life today is to think about eternity. And God has a purpose for our lives. And let us let it be a purpose driven by the, our love for God. May God bless you this morning. Amen.